Welcome back everyone to Learn by Teaching. Today we're in Dynamics and we're going to solve problem 14.53, okay? It says, the sport car has a mass of 2.3 megagrams and while it is traveling at 28 meters per second, the driver causes it to accelerate at 5 meters per second square. If the drag resistance on the car due to the wind is F sub D equals to 0.3 V square, where V is the velocity in meters per second, determine the power supplied to the engine at this instant. The engine has a running efficiency of 0.68. All right, so what we clearly see here is that we have a sports car, um, and then as the car is traveling, it's experiencing this dragging force, okay? So we're asked to basically determine the power supplied to the engine. And in order to do that, we are going to solve this problem, but let's just start uh, by doing uh, our givens. So we're going to have our givens. And the first thing that they give me is the mass. They give me the mass as 2.3 megagrams. So I'm going to convert it right away into kilograms, just to our regular units. And that will give me 2300 kilograms. We're also giving the velocity, which is equal to 28 meters per second. We're given the acceleration, which is equal to five meters per second square. We're given the force of the dra the dragging force is equal to 0 0.3, the velocity square. Now, we're also given at the end, the efficiency of this engine of 0 0.68. Now let's take a look at this dragging force is 0.3 V squared, but we already have our velocity. Therefore, at this moment, if we plug in, so we're going to have that dragging force is 0.3, the velocity, which is 28 squared. And if we plug this into our calculator, this will give me a total of 235.2 and the units should be new. Okay. So what next? Well, in order to find the power supply, since we know power is force times velocity, we need to find the force that this car is driving. And in order to do that, we're going to do a free body diagram. So we're going to do a free body diagram of our car. So we will simplify it as a rectangular shape, just like this. And what forces do we have? Well, going down, we have the weight. We have a force going up, that is the normal force. Going to the left, as shown in the figure above of us, we have the dragging force. And of course, the force at which we're driving this sport car. That is, we're just going to name it F. All right. So now that we have all that, we can perform a summary of forces in the X direction. We're going to assume that going to the right is positive. So what do we have? Well, we have our force F that we want to find minus our dragging force but that we know that is 235.2 newtons in this case and this should be equal to my mass so remember f equals ma right so that's the equation we're doing so our mass 2300 multiplied by our acceleration which is five meters per second and if we solve for f this will give me basically 2300 times 5 plus 235.2. And the answer is going to be, so we're plugging that into our calculator, it's going to be 11,735 newtons. All right, so this is the force that we're driving our car. However, we need to find the power. And in order to do that, we're going to utilize chapter 14 equations, exactly ch chapter 14.4, and equations 14.10 and 14.11, okay? So we can find the power at, that we're driving right now. So I'm going to call this one the power output. This is the power output of this car. And it's going to be our force, the one that we just calculated, so 11,735, multiplied by our velocity. I'm just basically following this equation. And our velocity was 28. And if we plug this in, and our calculator, this will give me 
328,586 if we round it up and the units should be watts, okay? Let me write it like this. All right, since the number is so high, I'm just going to use kilowatts instead, which is going to be 328.6 kilowatts, okay? If we round it up. Now, their problem is asking for basically for the power input, the power supply to this engine. So we're going to take this equation, we're going to solve for power input. So power input, uh, let me write it as in. All right, it's going to be my power output divided by my efficiency. So if we plug our numbers, we have 328.6 kilowatts divided by 0 0.68, which is given by the problem statement. And this gives me a total of 483.2 kilowatts. All right, so this is our final answer for our problem. So I hope you guys like the video. Please push the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.